So now let's learn how to work with the spline tool. So the spline tool is located right over here. And once you hold it, you can see that this option is here. So let me just bring this out by clicking on this icon right here. And here you can see that there's the spline pen and there's some preset of icons that you can work with. So let us work with something else. Uh, so let's work with uh, something like foresight option right here. So here is my simple spline shape on the side view. Let me bring in another one like a flower, which we saw in last lesson as well. And over here, let me bring a cogwheel. Let me just delete the uh, diamond-like shape right there. So I got two splines as you can see. I can also manually create spline and for that uh, I prefer working in the front of view right here. So I'm going to go over here and use my middle mouse button to actually change the views. Just click the middle mouse button and there you go. So I'm going to move it aside and here there's the spline pen. So you can create something quite manually just like this. So you can just click, click and drag. And if you are used to the pen tool inside of Illustrator or Photoshop, then this simply is a pen tool. So over here, you can see that there's a spline. I got, I got three splines right here. So let me middle mouse click my button, go back to the perspective view right here. So over here, you can see that I got three splines and right now they don't have any depth as you can see. So there's the spline. I don't want this one. So let's just press enter and I'm going to remove this line. So just let, delete that. All right. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool now. So in order for my spline tools to actually extrude out and have a volume, I can use something called the extrude tool. So once I click extrude, you can see that extrude instance is here. This is the extrude uh, right here. And I got three splines. So I need three extrudes right here. So the way how uh, extrusion works is that you have to uh, make the spline the child of the extrude. So I, I want to make the spline child of extrude 2 and you can see that now the spline has a volume is a 3D object now and the cogwheel. So let me just drag it into extrude 2. You cannot, you cannot actually uh, make both objects childs of the same extrude to um, of the extrude option right here. You can see that it does not work that way. You need one for each one right here. And once you're done with it in the extrude, you can uh, expand the amount of uh, movement right there. And you can see that you can increase the size of the spline. So you can create any object uh, from the spline tool right here. You can also uh, use the spline tool to, uh, ex to uh, expand the objects from Illustrator or uh, Photoshop right there. So you can bring in the spline, the pen tool objects from there as well. So let me just increase that out as well. So you can increase the size as you can see. So that's our 3D model quite easily. So another thing you can do is you can work around with the options inside of the um, spline and then it'll affect the extrude, overall extrude. So you can improve and decrease the inner radius as you can see. So I'm holding the spline pull up the flower and you can see that I can expand this out. I can change the petals and there you go. Uh, there's an instant update of how everything looks up. You can also work with the planes right here to change the position of the overall outlook. So you can have top view and so forth. So let me just go back right here and you can also reverse this out right now. It does not have any effect. And anyways, you can see that you can also change the angle if you want to. So you, you can go over here and let's say there are there may be some options related to the spine. So there's types like there may be spokes that you can work with and you can see that easily you can control this. So you can control the amount of spokes here. There's the outer radius that you can work with. There's the inner radius you can work with and so forth and everything has a very good level of outcome as you can see. You can also go for the custom spline that you actually made. There's the page here. There's the linear type of a spline, cubic type of a, smile, a spine and so forth. So you can see that there are different types of spines that you can work with and even control the angle right there. And you can see that the change is happening right there. Quite live, so natural. There you go. So that is how you can work out with the spline and use the extrude tool to turn it into a 3D model. So we're going to look at look more about how to work with splines in further lessons. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.